Wandering Winder here with some Dominion. Um, the Alms for Cavalry. What do we want to do? Let's go ahead and do that now. Grab Apprentice. I'm going to do it again now. Try to grab another. We're going to want like two apprentices. If we hit four, we'll buy pageant. But once the cavalry's run out, oh, there's cauldron for more plus five. Okay, so we can. Great. Um, yeah, we're probably also supposed to do this. And now I think I'm going to start on stables. That was maybe supposed to be a cauldron already. Silver mine is going to be reasonable here. We can always swap out our cavalry for a villain at some point as well. It's just a question of time on all this. Let me do this. Grab the cauldron. Um, the nice thing about this is my cauldron is going to be activated in terms of giving curses from playing the one cavalry and then buying one action card. is nine money. Guess I'm willing to go down to eight. Grab a... Oh, I alms to cavalry. I'm not giving you a curse. Okay. So let's take this then. And uh, sure, a silver. I'm going to want to pick up a lot more stables now and then more cauldrons, but that's fine. Silvermine picking up gondolas is nice. In fact, if we can do that every turn, it is a village, right? So that's something.
pretty sure I'm supposed to be alming for cavalry here. Alming? Almsing? I don't know what's the right word. I think I want Staples Villain here, so we're going to take this now. And now we're going to apprentice a cavalry. Surely you take gondola. I don't think this play order matter. Oh, I guess it does matter. Yeah, yeah, okay. Very good. So now we just want like cauldron stables this turn. I think there was a turn I could have bought pageant and should have, where I had three and I just did not think about it at all. Maybe I took the silver then, but uh, it was probably worse. So. This is the wrong order, right? Maybe it doesn't matter. You have a lot of silver mine. Like I'm, I think you're gonna end up running into an issue on draw. Although what's gonna happen is that piles are gonna run cavalry stables gondola. So, I mean, that's also something to be a bit concerned about because that can happen in a turn or two. I'm probably going to build this turn, and then that's going to be the last one. But we'll have to see. It's possible also that uh, you're provincing here. Oh, OK. Huh. Okay, this is really surprising.
don't think I want more cauldron. I think what I want to do is this. I mean, this does give you some potential pile control on um, curses. Yeah, you have a lot more pile control than me now. Um, okay. There is some concern here now, for sure. You shouldn't be able to win this turn. Possibly next turn is going to be the issue. I mean, I, I ne absolutely need to province this turn. But actually, you province this turn, and I'm probably in bad shape, right? Unless you fail to draw. Which will be possible. You gotta take one of these for money so you can province, right? Oh, you have the... Oh, you want an estate? I don't think that the estate was good. I can give you two curses. Well, I'm pretty sure we need to do this. Probably not give you any curses here. Just double province. Yeah, there's a chance. There's a chance. Should keep in mind that a very plausible play at this point is going to be to apprentice something that is expensive and looks good just to get the point draw there. What are you apprenticing here? A silver mine. Yeah. Okay. This makes sense. Um, so you have three buys, you can gain a gondola, which could give me two curses. If you go curse, curse province, that probably wins. Wait, no, but that doesn't, that doesn't win because you, you need to take a third action, which you cannot do unless you still have a cavalry, which, ooh, maybe you do. Do you have a cavalry? I don't know. Okay, so there's the last gondola. Yes, yes, okay. So now you've given me two curses. So you go province, curse, curse, and win. 
or province stable stables, either way. Yeah. I'm not sure whether I misnavigated or whether it was just like the extra turn. Hard for me to tell. 